Hi Seventeen, my name is Sydney and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this really bold cut crease glitter look with a really nice neutral lip. I decided to pair the neutral lip with a bold look because typically when you do something that's really dark on your eyes, it's an easy contrast to just do something neutral on your lips. So yeah, if you're interested and you want to get this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start this look with no foundation on and I just want to do this to make sure that none of the fallout from the eyeshadow look gets on your foundation. So the first step, I'm going to use this MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And this is in the color Soft Ochre. And this is just going to be a base for all the eyeshadows that I'm using today. Next, you just want to take a similar flesh tone color. And since I am brown, I'm going to be using this brown color, which is Mocha from Makeup Peak. And this is just to trace out the cut crease before you actually go in with a darker color to define it. So using a pencil brush, you just kind of want to find where your actual crease is. And you can do that just by pushing into your socket. Not too hard though, just wherever it's hollow. You just want to take that color and lightly run it against that line. Now I'm going to take a black shade. This one is from Makeup Forever. And I'm going to lightly trace over where I already applied the brown eyeshadow. You want to be super light handed with this color because it's easy to fix it if it's too light, but if you apply too much at once, you might have to start all over. So just lightly run the black right where you applied the brown. Next, you just want to take a clean, fluffy blending brush and you're going to blend out the edges on the top of the cut crease line and not the bottom because you still want it to be really, really sharp. So you want to start just by blending out the color on the top and keeping it really sharp on the bottom. You can do this just by blending in circular motions upward. And then go back in and blend some more. The key to getting the perfect look is to blend everything out. So you really want a really big fluffy blending brush. The one I'm using right now is from Sedona Lace. And you want to just go back and forth between colors and blend everything out. Now I'm going to take this kind of bronzy gold eyeshadow and I'm going to be placing that all over my lid and I'm going to be really careful not to blend it up with the black eyeshadow. But if you do, it's okay because you can always just go back in and add more black eyeshadow. And now I'm just going back in with more of the black eyeshadow and I'm going to blend that in with the gold. Next, I'm going to take a primer that's good for holding glitter. This is the Too Faced Shadow Sherds Glitter Glue, and I'm going to lightly place that all over the areas where I use the bronze gold shade. So you wanna take that product and just lightly place it on your lid wherever you applied the bronzy shade. And you wanna let that get tacky for about a minute and a half before going in with the glitter that you wanna use. The glitter that I'm going to be using is from NYX and it is in the number eight. And I'm just going to take the same brush that I've been using to apply the glitter glue and the eyeshadow prior and I'm just going to dab it into this glitter and then lightly tap it onto my lid. After you've applied the glitter, you just want to go in with a makeup wipe and wipe off the excess. And this is why it's a good idea to do your foundation after your eyes so you don't have to go in and redo your foundation because it's bound to happen. To intensify the glitter even more, I'm going to be taking this glitter liner. It's called Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay. And I'm going to be placing that lightly in the center of my eye.
Next, I'm going to be using the Stila Stay All Night eyeliner to create a winged line. And this eyeliner is perfect for a night out because it'll literally last you like two days. So to start my winged liner, I like to just lightly kind of run the product against my lash line. And then I like to take the tip of the wing liner from the very end of my eye and just kind of extend it upward towards my brow. And then from that point, you just want to connect it down to the very faint line that you already made on your lid. And just kind of lightly, do very light strokes and you really want to take your time with this. The perfect wing liner takes so much practice, but once you get it down, it's fairly easy. And then you just kind of want to do light strokes all the way into the inner corner of your eye. So I went ahead and applied my foundation and lashes off camera, and now I'm just going to do my lip color combination. And since my eyes are so dramatic, I wanted to do something that was really nude and neutral on my lips. So I'm going to be combining Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Undressed with MAC Lip Liner in Bittersweet. So I'm going to start by just first applying the lip liner all around the perimeter of my lips, and then blending it in with the lip gloss. Alright you guys, so that's it for this look. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to Seventeen. If you have any questions about the look, be sure to comment them down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, you can subscribe to my channel at Sydney Black. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and till next time, bye!